comes a Manila thriller. Will we see a thriller in Doncaster, Richard? Just reminds us the colour change, white with the black central stripe on the outside. So we're all set for the Betfred Mayhill, and they leave the stalls. And William Buick deliberately steadies Desert Flower, leaving the stalls. But she is a little bit keen without any cover, as Anne Schoder it is who cuts out the early running. Desert Flower, who was quite active in the preliminaries as well. Blue Jacket just behind the red and white of serving with style as they settle down. On the far side is Flight, Miss Tonnery's midfield, best placed of the O'Brien pair at this stage is January, being tracked by stable companion Ecstatic in blue and orange. The last two are Elsie's Ruin, and last of all that colour change, Manila Thriller. So Anne Shoda leads them in two lines up the centre of Town Moor. On the left-hand side, red and white of serving with style. Then Flight, and tracking the leader on the near side is Desert Flower in fourth, who's settled nicely now. Miss Tonnery races in fifth place, just ahead of... In sixth place, the purple and white of January. Towards the right-hand side, Ecstatic has moved towards the right. And at the back is Manila Thriller. So out in the lead as they head past halfway is Anne Shoda with Serving with Style. Right-hand side, Flight moves forward. Desert Flower, William Buick just beginning to manoeuvre out. Left-hand side in the blue. On the other flank, Ecstatic begins to try and improve. January also making some progress. So out in the lead, Anne Shoda attended by Flight. Now the moves are being made by, on the left-hand side, Desert Flower. And on his left January and right on her left on the right hand side ecstatic begins to pick up flight out in the lead desert flower now asked on the inside is ecstatic January is next desert flower moves to the lead Lux to the left but still has the advantage from in second place January and it's desert flower who retain a run beat the record in the main hit. desert flower doubles on the day for William Buick Charlie Appleby and Godolphin January fight Miss Tonner fifth place for ecstatic and Shoda drifted out along with serving with style, uh, two towards the back, never involved where Elsie's ruin and uh, also Manila Thriller. She's a nice prospect, Desert Flower. She'd have learned a bit from that, bit keen early on. Luck to the left when first picked up, but she ran out the winner by over a length from January flight, Miss Tonner, and in fifth place, Ecstatic. So the fancied horse is by and large well to the fore. He is pricked on pulling up. She's still learning this daughter of Night of Thunder, but she's made it three out of three. Entries in the Rockfell, more likely the Phillies Mile, and something for Godolphin to look forward to, maybe for next year's classics. In a race, there was a launch pad for horses like In Spiral, who we talked about earlier, and Lawrence. Jason Weaver, your first impressions? Not as impressive as we hoped. We're always wanting to see more, yet... I think she's got away with the ground. Jockey body language, all important. And the eventual second had that slingshot run into getting past her, and he's not been able to get by. She's really comfortably held on. Watching her as a, an individual as well, Francesca, pulling up, she's run up really, really light. And I, I, I think that uh, Charlie will be extremely patient with her going forward. I think it'll be the key. I think it's probably looked less visually impressive than her last couple of starts because she's up against much better yeah. horses, essentially. So she's had to work a little bit harder. She hasn't just been able to kind of cruise through it and kick away. I think, I don't know, probably with these good horses, like they show this ability, it's a really fine line as a trainer to not keep asking too much of them at home, to keep wanting to see that uh, shine of brilliance and save it for the race course. And I think I think it's a definite positive pass mark onto better things today. Getting quotes, William Hill for the Phillies Mile, which could be absolutely red hot when you see the hand that Aidan O'Brien might have to play. 7-2 Hills go for the Phillies Mile. They're 10 for the Guineas, Bet Victor go 8-1. to one. Desert Flower for the Betfred sponsored 1,000 guineas in May at Newmarket on a day where we've seen a quick fire double for Messrs Appleby and Buick. Yeah, they'll be absolutely delighted to get the win on the board. Let's go and speak to the man who's enjoyed the performance. William Buick is on top, and William Jamie, I'm quite as impressive as he wanted her to be. But are we dealing with a work in progress here? Absolutely right, you know, and. Um, it's a big step up in what she's achieved and, you know, we were very confident that she could deal with it and, to be honest, I thought she was foot perfect. She looked around in front. I just had to keep her up to her work. And, um, you know, she's a, she's quite a, you know, she's a big filly with plenty of scope, so she's only going to get better. And um, this, this race is it's won by some smart fillies in the past and I think she's in that category. Yeah, obviously, recently, the likes of Inspiral, but you go back to, to Midway Lady and Reams of Verse, you know, proper horses win this race. This is the first time, though, that you and Charlie have won it. 
Yeah, it is. It is. And, um, you know, I think this filly is obviously, she's got a beautiful pedigree and she's just a filly that everyone's always liked. And, uh, you know, Charlie was very, was very clear that he wanted to go here after she won first time. And she's obviously done, done everything right in between. So you rode the dam of this horse once, promising run. She ran in the filly's mile and got beat. But would it be obvious that this will be like, like mother head to the filly's mile, do you think? I would assume so. You know, it's a lovely. The May Hill is renowned as a sort of a stepping stone towards the Phillies Mile, and it seems like an obvious place to go. But um, you know, obviously, needed to get today out of the way first, and then I'm sure um, Charlie will, will speak to all of the team and they come up with the plan. And obviously, she's quoted for the 1,000 guineas next year. How, how much further do you think she'd get? I, I think she's a very nice filly. She's going to improve. She's a beautiful, scopy filly with a lovely pedigree. That suggests she's only going to get better as a three-year-old. So. The obvious races. Well done. The market was so interesting on this race. First with the Bally Doyle horses, which got it right in the end, January was second. And then Desert Flower, that standout 11 to 8 with Bet365 this morning, was taken. She was odds on this morning, then drifted on the track, and then was backed into even money in the end. And Francesca's social media followers will be celebrating. Is that your, your nap of the week banged in? Yeah, I had to think hard about this one because there's a bit of pressure involved when we were asked to put one up for the week. And obviously I chose one that was <laughs> rather short in the market. That's a good filly, though, Francesca, isn't it? You know, you, you keep digesting, you be able to look back at the, the replay. Ground conditions were completely different. She's won three from three. And as you know, Ed, going through the...